common law and doctrine of equity. This is another source of law. The substance of common law, doctrine of equity and statute of general application of England is, con is contained in section 3, subsection 1c of Judicature Act, Cap 8. The law base its origin from England Court of Justice. It is source of law in some states such as Kenya, also Uganda, adopts, adopt this law. They adopt some clauses which are compatible with the need of their people. Some common law statutes have been codified by some states and now form part of the written laws in, in various states such as Kenya. Kenya have codified some common laws, statutes and clauses. We can be able to verify some defects of common laws. One of them is rigidity. The rule force fails to offer justice to a person whose unrecognized rights had been infringed. So, for instance, if you have been offended person, a person, for instance, through abusing him, without no harm you have caused to him, no harm which can be seen, which you have caused, you have caused to him, and prosecute you to a common, a common law court, there is no evidence that that person abused you or infringed your right. So it can fail to give you the required justice. So inadequate remedy. It fails to offer enough remedies to some case. Since common law remedy was in term of damage, which was not applicable to all cases. For instance, somebody kills your friend. Some, somebody kills your relative. You are told some that person to compensate you with damage, he cannot be able to recover that life of somebody of that someone which you, who he have killed, be it your relative, be it your friend. So remedy was based on damage, only damage. So that damage he could not recover, even if he could pay for it, he could not recover that life. Trust non recognition. The rule did not recognize the trust institution. When a trustee misappropriated trust property, the beneficiary had no remedy against him. Common law did not recognize the trustee and did not, did not recognize the trustee as a holder of property. So you could not take the trustee anywhere. So beneficiary were rendered to roses if an uncouth, uncouth trustee had been entrusted with their property and misused it. Directory defense. Common law erod excuses for a party or individual not presenting himself in common law courts. Therefore, during justice, e.g., a person could say, oh, there was frauds. No, my child was not feeling well, I was an heir. And so, justice was delayed, and not one made justice to be denied. So, it was also complex in nature. The rule was so cumbersome and, and restrictive, hence creating a lot of rules for, for injustices. Now, after common law, in order to come and supplement common law, there was de developed another doctrine, deferred as doctrine of equity. It is a doctrine that imputes fairness or administration of natural justice. So, equity ensured that natural justice was guaranteed. So, the doctrine was established to supplement the common law since the king was guided by his own desires on determining the case at all. King could be biased sometimes. He is a human being, could be biased. So it was so essential to come up with a doctrine which could be, could be used to ensure justice was upheld. New remedies were established by the doctrine where common remedies were inside, where, where common law remedies were insufficient. So, Doctrine of equity came, came up uh, with certain remedies in, in cases where common law was thought to be insufficient. Since common law establishing all this had only established a doctrine of damage, paying for the damage, damage which you are caused. Also, the court proceedings were made somewhat easier by adopting the doctrine of equity.
So there are some remedies which were given by doctrine of equity. Those remedies were remedies of injections. That is remedies allowing ensuring that specific performance was done by a certain individual. Remedies of liquidation. Remedies of recession. Here are some principles of equity. One of the principles of equity is fairness. Fairness dealt with that who any person who was seeking relief must be willing to act fairly to his opponent in order to receive the relief. Any person who wanted a certain relief was required to act fairly to his opponent to receive that relief remedy. Equity doctrine ensured appropriate remedy is served to the relief seeker. So, in order to ensure equity, appropriate remedy was to be served. Clean hand. Anyone who seeked equity doctrine provided that the relief seeker should have a clean track record in order to get the relief. So, the print fool who was the aggrieved party who was seeking the relief from the defendant who had offended him should come to and to doctrine of equity when he ensured he have not aggrieved or done anything wrong to the defendant in order to receive the relief which he or she need obligation the doctrine of equity impute an intention to ensure fulfillment of a certain duty where the of a certain duty which was required to be done. So the doctrine of equity ensured that certain obligation was fulfilled. Equity followed rule. The equity doctrine should not be inconsistent with the rule. So the doctrine of equity was compatible with the common rule. So it was not contradicting rule or scabbing out the common rule. It came to supplement and it was and doctrine of equity was consistent with the common rule and the rule. Enforceable remedy. Equity doctrine was supposed to give remedy which was enforceable, not giving remedy which could not be enforced. So it ensured that any remedy which it gave out was enforceable, it could be done. So we can be able to derive some differences between common rule and equity doctrine. So common rule and equity doctrine. So common rule it is the original rule where equity it is the supplement of the country of the common law. Common law is an action, an action was commenced by issue where in doctrine of equity it was like an appeal. An action was commenced by a petition. In common law, remedy of exist remedy of damage exists if a wrong is proved. But equity doctrine, remedy of specific performance is implemented where wrong is proved. So in common law, remedy of damage exists if a wrong is proved, but here is where the wrong is also proved. That's why specific performance was implemented. So the difference between this one is damage and the other one is specific performance. Common rule is complete and independent in nature, whereas equity doctrine, it depends strongly on axioms of common rule. So it is it is dependent of common rule. It is so common rule is complex and rigid in nature. Well somehow equity doctrine is simplified and certain in nature. So I think that marks the end of our subtopic, common law and doctrine of equity as source of law. So thank you for watching. Kindly remember to subscribe and share our, our channel. Thank you.